TV and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a updated lip product collection for you all. So I did a original lip product collection I think last year but I'm not completely sure. I decided I'll do another updated one for you since I've got quite a few lip products since then. I also asked you guys for some video requests on Instagram and I got quite a few people asking me to do this video so I thought I would do what you guys also wanted to see and I really do love filming collection type videos. Um, so if you'd like to see more of these give this video a big thumbs up and I also wanted to say I'm not trying to brag in any way by showing you my lip products I just requested and I just love filming these videos. Second thing is my hair is damp if you can tell I washed it earlier and the third thing is this is a burn if you're wondering I burnt it on a cake pan last Saturday so yeah let's go on with the video. <laughs> so before I start this video on start showing you all the lip products I have stay tuned to the end for a possible giveaway. And also, these are not all my lip products, I just want to let you know because it's pretty full in here. There are some lip products that I have which are in like other makeup bags and in my school bag and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go with showing you my lip products. So I'm not going to go into like really, really long depth with each lip product just because this video would be super long. It's probably going to be really long anyway. Um, I turn my hair because I always help by the way. So the first lip product I have is the 17 Berry Crush Lip Stain. I do not like this it the lip balm broke off and the actual lip product has like I don't know the nib has like been squashed um so although it still has some pigment it's really patchy I really don't like this at all it's not very pigmented at all and the lip stain hardly lasts this was like five quid so so the next lip product I have is this Blistex Orange Mango Blast which I got a couple weeks back and it is just it was okay what is the piece of hair doing sorry guys this was a pound from a pharmacy which was super expensive I'm pretty sure it's a pound just smells like orange and mango and tropical and it's really really nice and moisturizing next I have this number seven high shine lip crayon and this is like a nudish shade it's like tinted and I will do another swatch for you I really actually quite like this it's really nice and glossy and I wear this to school sometimes it's just really really nice for an everyday lip color so next I have this a chapstick flavor of flavor craze in apple burst it smells so good just like apples and sweets and it's so amazing and I love this so so much next moving on to a lipstick this is the max factor lipstick pretty sure this is in the shade daring but I think the bottom where the shade name was came off this is the shade it's just this one here it's very very glossy and pigmented and it's a really really nice red or like a pinky red lipstick so next I have the essence xxxl nude lip gloss in the shade taste of sweets I got this last year when I was in France with my school it just looks like this and it's just like really really nice I love essence products they're so good so this is the product and it's just like a correlate pinky color and it's so glossy and I love it so the next lip product I have is the collection cream puff moisturizing lip cream apparently this is velvety soft and a matte finish personally this is quite disappointing for me the first thing is when I got it I feel like it was basically empty I don't know if that's that's not like collection at all so that's not really something the other thing is this doesn't really dry matte at all for me anyway like it's really really velvety um but it doesn't really dry matte on my lips and I was hoping the shade would be a bit more nude it looks like a little bit more like sort of nude in the container which is like my perfect shade but it's not really on the actual product so yeah this is not my favorite but it's nice next I just have a whole bunch of baby lips and um, because I have quite a few baby lips again this is probably not all my baby lips I will read out them really quickly I've got an updated and a original baby lips collection on my channel already so I'm just gonna read them out so I have strike a rose pink me up mint fresh intense care crystal kiss peach kiss oh, this is dirty life's a peach which is the lip gloss which I love sugar cookie sweet apple grapefruit zing oh orange just peachy bubblegum pop fierce and tangy Coral, cra Coral Crave, Wink of Pink, lip gloss. Hot Cocoa, Melon Mania, Fab and Fuchsia, Pink Shop, Hydrate, and I do have two of these, I believe. Cherry Me, Energizing Orange, which is from like, a, I think this is the Thai collection, and then I also have Cherry Velvet. Too Cool, Blueberry Boom, and Pink Punch. I did have like the Valentine's Day collection stuff. But I don't know where the Valentine's ones have gone. They're in my house somewhere. I know they're in my house somewhere. 
I don't know where. So next I have the Sexy Mother Pocket Matte Lip. And this is just a lip crayon in the shade Choco Berry. Um, so I just did switch with it. This is just like a reddish. It's got some like brown, I feel like, undertones. Um, the only thing about this is I put it on my lips and then the next minute I'm just going to like this like... And then it's all around here and I look like Miranda Sings. So I was in Starbucks with Bethany and she came back. She was like, oh, and everyone was staring at me because I had lipstick all up here and it looked like I just decided to be Miranda Sings. So that wasn't too great. But yeah, I have this. I have an EOS and this is in Vanilla Mint and Cordy actually gave this to me. Thanks, babes. It smells so good. And oh my gosh, it's just amazing and it's so moisturising. Then I have a W7 lip balm in raspberry. I do have three of these. I don't know if all three are in here, but yeah, this is, did I say, yeah, it's in raspberry. And um, it's just, I've done, already done like review on these. So check that out. But yeah, I've got this. I have, again from Cordy, this Bare Minerals um, lip gloss in iced coffee, which just looks like this. And it's just like a sparkly nude brown shade. Um, the applicator of this is just like a brush applicator. It's not like the normal sponge that you usually get. And I'll just do a swatch of this. I wore this in, I think, a party makeup look or something I did. Uh, but it's just this shade and it's just a really, really glossy finish. This is not too sticky, which I really like about lip glosses. And it has a lot of products, so I love this. Next, I have this Nivea Lip Butter in Raspberry Rosé. And I believe I got this one because I've had two in the past for my birthday um, from one of my friends. So, and I can't remember which friend it was. Well, thanks whoever gave it to me because I love it. Um, but it's just this shade in the actual thing, but it's just clear and it smells really really good it just like raspberries and this is like a great essential because it's really small and pocket sized and it's really moisturizing so next i just have the kate moss lipstick in the shade 101 which is also lol um but um yeah this is just a matte lipstick and it's like a pink shade I don't wear this too often just because it washes me out a little bit, I feel like. But it's just a matte baby pink color. It goes matte after a bit. It's this color here. And I got this on sale a while back. Then I have two of these by Benefit. The um, This is this Benny Balm. I also have Lolly Balm, which Bethany goes to me. And I don't know. I think Lolly Balm's in here. I feel like it is in here. Um, so yeah, this is Benny Balm. And I think me and Bethany traded for this in year seven or something. Um, but yeah, the packaging is so gorgeous. Like it's one of the most gorgeous packaging for lip balm it's amazing um and this is just a sheer red balm what i love about this is that if you don't like wearing complete red lipstick you can wear this with like a little bit of a red tint on the lips and it's also super moisturizing and this is like so amazing then i have the kate moss lipstick in 38 which is just a orangey colored nude it doesn't look orange it looks like quite pink in the actual container I feel like it has a little bit of orange in the container when you look at it though. It's just like a pinky orangey nude. Um, it's very peachy. Um, personally, this washes me out and doesn't look too great on me. But I got this when it was reduced for like £2 or something. So yeah. So next I have the collection Lasting Colour Matte Lipstick in Taffeta Bloom. And this... <laughs> Um, and I got this for Christmas from Helena. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's just like a matte pink colour. Um, and I love how this goes matte. Like, it's really, really nice. And as you can see, it's just this colour here. I absolutely love it. And um, this is like one of my go-to sort of coloured lipsticks. I absolutely love the colour of this. So I have this Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Velvet, which is also a matte lip. This is just a complete, like, very red colour. And um, I'm not going to swatch this because I am um, selling this currently on Depop because it's like bright red and I don't really wear these sort of reds so yeah I'm selling this on Depop for I think a couple of pounds um, my Depop is Evie Ellen or Evie Ellen YT I feel like it's Evie Ellen YT if you want to check out my Depop just leave a comment down below and then I'll reply to your comment with my name um, on Depop but yeah I'm selling this um, because it doesn't suit me and I don't really wear deep reds like this but it's just a really deep purpley red Next, I have the Lolly Balm by Benefit, and this packaging is so gorgeous as well. Oh my gosh. It smells like, just like lip product. It's just sort of like a subtle smell of like makeup lip balm, which I actually quite like, so. Um, but yeah, it's just this colour here, and it's just um, like a nude pinky colour. I absolutely love this one. Um, oh my gosh, I love them both. 
so nice. Thanks, babes. Bethany. Next, I have a Champneys Ultra Shine Lip Balm in Coral. And I actually got this for Christmas from my neighbour because we looked after her pets while she was on holiday. She had a rabbit and a cat that we were looking after. And she also had a dog, but that went to um, a friend's house because dogs can't really be left alone too much of the time because they get lonely. Um, so yeah, we looked after them and it was so fun. And apart from one time when my mum decided to lock us out and then my dad had to get in through the back window so we could get into the house and so the bunny and the rabbit wouldn't starve and um, but yeah so this is really really nice it's a little bit of coral in it like it there's not too much coral it's mainly just a shimmery lip balm or lip gloss doesn't smell like distinctive again but it smells quite nice so so next I have the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm and this is in a pot. This is just what it looks like. It's quite like moisturising and I actually quite like this. It's really nice. Next I have three Boots Extracts. Luscious, sweet and fruity lip balms. Um, so I have strawberry, mango and vanilla. Um, I got these at, around Christmas time when I went shopping with Chloe and I believe I think she got these ones as well but it's really really cool um so yeah the mango one smells so good oh my gosh they just smell like exactly like the name so it just smells like sweet mango and again so moisturizing and creamy i absolutely love them but then i just have vanilla which just smells like literal literal vanilla and cake and then strawberry which smells like strawberry and i love these so much so next i have a chapstick mix stick in lemon berry sorbet and i ordered this online on ebay very so was like this i didn't get it like this i scrolled it up and then it wouldn't scroll down and then i smashed it in mouth but yeah it smells just like berry and i want to try and like melt it and pour it back in again to fix it but and then lemon just smells like lemon they just smell like their names and they're really really nice then i have the body shop born lippy in tangerine i think it's called shimmer zatzuma smells so good literally exactly like oranges and it's just like this really shimmery orangey color um i don't wear this too much but i definitely want to start to try it out more because um it is a really really pretty color next i have the w7 tinted kiss in english rose and this actually got sent to me a couple months back so thank you very much to w7 it's just a really 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 nice sheer pinky lip gloss color and i absolutely love it i have one of my favorite matte products this is the primark or ps um that's what they're like makeup part of co is called um and this is the velvet matte lipstick crayon in nude this was like two pound fifty two pounds um, and i got this like a month or two ago this is the color it is so so pretty and oh my gosh this is so nice it goes matte it stays on for so long and for two pounds this is so amazing and this is like a dupe for velvet teddy definitely and um, the only thing is that i wish the color would be a little bit more nude like the name suggests because it's quite a corally color but it's kind of a nude so yeah then i have another lip balm which um bethany gave me and oh my gosh i got this for like a birthday christmas present from her i absolutely love it this is the maybelline 24 hour lip balm super stay lip balm and you can get these alone or you can get these with like the matching liquid lipstick thing this is just so so cute this is great for taking with you for like if you're going out somewhere and your lips get dry and you want to like have a little mini thing to take with you because it's really compact and cute smells like strawberry this is um just amazing next i have something from cordy and this is cordy's lip scrub company i've done a video on these this is just her peppermint lip scrub i don't know if she's still selling her lip scrubs anymore but i'm pretty sure you might be able to get your hands on one if you like contact her so if you're interested leave a comment down below and i can let you know how to contact her and you could maybe purchase one these are super cheap and i've got a video on them if you like check that it smells so good as well then i just have lip lips again and i have two here i'm pretty sure the other one is down there somewhere um but um so this is gummy bear and blue sashi the gummy bear just smells like cherry and then blue sashi just smells like blue raspberry and sweets i have two w7 lip balms in strawberry and pink cherry i've already shown you the um raspberry one but amazing i love these um i have one of my favorite lip this used to be one of my favorite lip products and i don't use it anymore that much but i feel like this could be another one of my favorites again it's really really nice it's just like a really really pinky coral color it's the collection work the color lip crayon in vintage rose and i love this 
I have um, a W7 Hint of Rio Cheek and Lip Stain, which I won't try to remember because it's not opening. Got this from Cordy for Christmas and like a Christmas birthday present. I absolutely love this. It's so, so good. The packaging is really, really nice. It's like a dupe for the Lolly and Benny tint by Benefit. And yeah, I absolutely love this. Um, then I just have a fruit lip balm in watermelon. And I also have the mango one, um, which is right there. So I have mango and watermelon which both smell amazing and really really fruity and they sent these to me very kindly um so then i just have two vaseline lip therapies um which are the rosy lips ones and these aren't too tinted but um they're really really cute to have in a collection and i really like tin products so this is what they look like they look like a really deep sort of red color but on like your actual lips Oh, it does have like a tiny bit of a tint, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it can be kind of greasy, but I do love my tin Vaseline. Next, I have an MUA Sweet Sheen lip balm in Peach Dream, which just looks like this. I will do a swatch of this on my wrist for you because it's like full of swatches my hand um but yeah it just looks like this it's just a corally peachy color don't really wear this that much anymore because i don't really like these colors anymore as much i do it depends sort of like if it's like a lipstick or whatever this sort of bright corally color i'm not as keen on then i have an elizabeth arden lip gloss duo and i'm not sure if it has a shade number. i don't think it does but it just has a reddish color on one end and then like a baby pink on the other end i have this lipstick by by Kate Moss and this is in the shade 30 the reason it has the bottom come off and this is just the lid here is because I got this from eBay not knowing that it would be like this but this is such a pigmented berry color but it does not suit me at all so I don't know if I should sell this on Depot I've used it like a couple times next I have another one of Cordy's lip balms in Apple which is definitely my favorite out of the ones she sent me smells so good i have an eos in a pomegranate raspberry which just smells i don't really know what pomegranate smells like but it definitely has a hint of raspberry in it it's just really really fruity and i got this i believe when i went to sweden last year i think it was last year um with daisy then i have another of the elizabeth arden duos i have two more here actually and you can see the colors i have some nivea products which i will get out now so i have these three that i can see right now i have fruity shine which smells like legit strawberry laces. It's so good. Pearly Shine, which I don't really like the colour of too much. It's just like a really, really pearly nude. And although it looks very, very sheer on your lips, it washes you out quite a bit. And personally, I don't think this suits me. And then Soft Rosé, which doesn't have a tint, I don't think. Kind of smells like Play-Doh. And it's just like a pink, which doesn't actually show up. So... So next I have the W7 Kiss Chase City of London Lipstick by W7 and this is in the shade Awesome. I've just done a swatch of this and it's just a bright baby pink colour. I don't wear this very often because it's super super bright and I don't think super bright colours like this really suit me. Then I have a lip balm which I think was handed out in our school or something like a couple months ago and it smells so good and it just, I love this one so much and I got two as well because Bethany gave me her one because she didn't like the smell but it just smells like vanilla and it's really really nice I have another Max Factor lipstick and this is in the shade Vitality Vi Vitality Vitality it's a bright like fiery red colour it's so pigmented I have this Sephora glossy lip pencil which I'm not going to do a swatch on because it will probably melt everywhere but it's just a very purpley red colour I then have a collection lipstick again and this is in the shade Chani Rose I didn't fall off this time yay uh, but yeah this is Chani Rose I just did this a really bad swatch there but it just looks like this and it's just like a mauvey colour this is actually a really really pretty colour and this used to be like one of my favourite lipsticks so I definitely want to try and wear it a bit more I have a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the shade 020 Love Sick. this smells like the dentist it smells really bad this is the shade that's like bright pink but yeah I don't wear this very often because it smells so bad but I have that I have a little homemade lip balm Mia made for me in year 7 when we had a fight and she made me a little makeup box and she put this in it <laughs> she's so cute it's like a pink basically it's like a cute little pink lip gloss thing and i will do a little swatch for you it's this one there 
Thanks, Mia. Then I have a Evie May lipstick in it doesn't have a name I don't think I think this is only the sh the only shade they have but it's this color here and it's just a baby pink and it's actually quite pretty I want to wear this a bit more I have this essence mini sheer lip balm in little miss Rosie this is such a pretty color actually like look at that it's like a really really pretty purple I have the other lick lips in Earl Grey tea which just smells like tea and coffee and stuff like that I have a chapstick mix stick in strawberry banana smoothie. The banana side, again, like the berry side on my lemon berry one, has completely like been squished. They both smell so so good. Then I have a two Fanta like lip smackers. I absolutely love lip smackers. They smell so good. Um, so the strawberry one, and then I have an orange one, which both smell exactly like the names and just like sweets, and they are so amazing. I absolutely love these. And I have another chapstick, and this is the medicated one. This doesn't smell too great. Actually, I was thinking of another. I feel like I wasn't thinking of this lip balm because it actually does so I nice I really like that medicated smell then I have the Rimmel Key Common Party in 050 Violet Blush this is actually I shouldn't really put that near my burn so I'm going to put it on the side um, but it's just a purple and it's actually quite pigmented for a lip balm but I believe they discontinued these because there was a lot of complaints about them falling out the tube which hasn't actually happened to me I have a collection matte lip butter in 01 marshmallow pink which again I might sell on Depop I've only used it once or twice but I will do a swatch for you but if I sell on Depop I will um, clean the actual like little wand part and um, but that is it it's just a matte pinky color next I have the collection matte lip but matte lip butter in marshmallow pink and I got this a while back a while back and I've only used it once or twice and I might sell on Depop actually because I don't really use it and I don't really think it suits me just a swatch of that right there I don't know if you can see um and it's just like a marshmallow pinky color and it's matte and then I just have the PS Love which is again Primark lip stain pen and this is a bright pink I actually quite like this but it's kind of run out now but it's just this color and it's a bright pink but yeah it's run out but it is when um, it hadn't run out, it was a super, super bright stain and it really, really stayed on for like a whole day even when I was eating and everything. So it is actually really good. I have a magazine lip gloss, I think, and this is the Expressions Girl in Apple. Just smells like apple and glitter. I don't know if glitter doesn't smell, but yeah. I have a Clinique lipstick in Sweet Pop 09. It smells like a lipstick. <laughs> um, it's just a bright pink and it's just a really really nice pop of colour in a makeup look. I will do a swatch of that for you. It's so so pigmented and it's just like your bright pink and it's so cute and small. I love it. I have another Rimmel Cake Moss lipstick and this is in the shade 08 and this is such a pretty colour. It's just like a really really nice nude. I feel like it's kind of similar to the Little Miss Rosie colour but I will do a proper swatch of that for you now. Um, but yeah, it's just a nude and it is really, really pigmented. Then I have a lip gloss, which I can't open because my hands are all sticky and greasy. Um, and I got this in Spain like years and years ago, but it's just, again, MEMS. It is just a sparkly pink lip gloss. I have two lip liners. One is by Essence and it's in the shade Honeyberry 15. And this is like completely used up, but I need to sharpen it now, but I don't have a sharpener, so I'm still unable to sharpen that. And then I have the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Color liner which completely broke so I'm not going to swatch that because otherwise it will probably melt and break everywhere. I have another lip liner by New Look and this is their lip liner pencil. It doesn't have a shade but this is $1.99 and it's just, just this shade here and I actually really really like this. This is a really really pretty shade. It's this colour here. I have a Bare Minerals lip gloss. Pretty amazing lip liquid lipstick I think you would call this in Ambition and Cordy again gave this to me um, with my other little Bare Minerals lip gloss and some other bits this is so pigmented it's a bright pink and yeah this is what it looks like then I have this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair and I got this for my birthday last year from Mia so thank you so much Mia I absolutely love the butter glosses they are so moisturizing oh my gosh they literally smell like vanilla and cake like I'm not even even exaggerating personally I don't really like cake smells that much but this is just different like it's not super super sweet and I will do a swatch right now my burn okay this is probably really bad but yeah it's this color um, and it's just a baby pink two more lip products the first one is this one by a uh, magazine I'm pretty sure and I DIY'd and made my own cinnamon lip balm in it, but this was like strawberry. Um, and then finally, I have the collection lip balm in strawberry or pink strawberry. It is a bright pink, as you can see, and I will do a swatch of that for you now. It is meant to be a lip balm. 
look at that brightness right there. So bright. It smells like strawberry. It's so good. Cool. I have a little pouch and I realise I have a few more so I'll quickly show you them. I have another Champagne's Ultra Shine Lip Balm in Gold Dust which is just a gold. This is literally such a... oh my gosh. It is grabbed onto my arm hairs. Great. But it is just a gold... It smells like fruits and yeah. Oh my gosh look at all these lip products around me. Then I have um, this Yes Love Great Lip Balm which I got from Spain. It smells like great. This is one like I'm still obsessed with great lip balms but I used to be so much more obsessed with them. I mean it's a tin and this is like 60 cents from Spain. Come on guys. How amazing can you get when you get to prices? See, I love this. Then I have, this is my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. If you didn't know, um, I got this for Christmas and I wear it in quite a few of my videos. This is just like a really, really pretty nude, as you can see right here. It's just like a brown velvet nude and I absolutely love it. It's just like the perfect color. Like it's not too pinky and it's not too brown for me and I personally think it, it suits me. Next I have this Yes Love also by Spain and this is the same as the tin um, in grape but it's in a stick form. Purple, blue colour, it's so cute. Again it just smells of artificial and sweet grapes. Then I have a Hema or Hema sun protection lip balm. I should definitely take this when I go to Spain this year. And then the last bit lip balm I have is from Cordy. This is the popcorn lip balm and it's by Claire's. Legit smells of complete popcorn. So that is the end of my lip product collection updated. I absolutely love collecting my lip products. That it's really heavy and this box is basically full um, but now moving on to the giveaway so I'm just doing a little giveaway and I'm going to be giving to one of you guys this free lip balm in watermelon if some of you don't know they actually like asked me to promote their um, company so they sent me a few of their lip balms I didn't get paid or anything um, they just sent me two of their mango and and then a watermelon one um, to review so I've got I think it was my last video I used them in my um, makeup look yeah and then a week after I got this this in the mail and this is actually another spare watermelon one so I asked them I got a spare one would I be able to include it in a giveaway because I really wanted to give you guys one of these because I absolutely love them and they said yeah it was a mistake but that is absolutely fine so I can do that um so yeah I'm going to be giving away this one and this is a brand new this is the fruit watermelon lip balm and I'm going to be giving it away with this little card as well just saying the ingredients I'll put them both in a little package with hopefully a little note for one of you guys this giveaway is UK only, so I'm really, really sorry to any other countries, but it is super expensive for postage. So yeah, this is UK only, and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then comment down below a video request for any video you'd like me to do in the summer. It can be any video at all, and yeah, just leave that comment down below, and then I will pick through a randomizer one person and then I will send you your product so I am not sure when this giveaway is going to finish but I will leave the rules and then the date this is going to finish in the description so when I've decided the date so yeah if you'd like to win this make sure you just follow those rules and then you could be in a little chance of winning a little giveaway thank you so much for watching this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and enter the little giveaway and I actually love doing giveaways so if you'd like to see some more giveaways in the future then let me know but yeah I will see you next Friday bye Hey guys, it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. So this is literally the most requested like video on my channel. So I decided I would do it for you today. The reason I put it off so much is because um, my makeup collection isn't the most like organized and sort of like just laid out nicely. Like I don't really have drawers, I keep it in.